from the page to performance. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 classic songwriters. And if other girls go, do, 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 do. For this list, we're focusing on singer-songwriters that have seen critical and commercial success over the years and are known primarily for writing their own music. God only knows what I'd be without you. As much as we love Elton John's powerful piano ballads, he will not be making the list as most of his songs are written with the help of Bernie Taupin. Lay me down in sheets of linen. Don't stop me now. Number 10. Freddie Mercury. Originally born as Farouk Bulsara, this singer-songwriter spent the first 17 years of his life in Zanzibar and India before moving to England for safety reasons. By 1970, however, the shy graphic artist transformed into the frontman of Queen and went on by the name of Freddie Mercury. She's a killer. With already a lifetime of material to write about, along with new personal inspirations, Mercury composed perhaps one of the most popular rock songs of all time, Bohemian Rhapsody. Utilizing his impressive vocals to his advantage, Mercury has crafted some of the biggest stadium-pleasing hits of all time. Number 9, Van Morrison. We were born before the wind. Also younger than the sun. While the doors were tearing up the psychedelic scene in the late 1960s, this Northern Irish musician was releasing some of the most acclaimed albums of all time. And unless you're a diehard fan, you probably don't know that Van Morrison was responsible for writing the 1964 British Invasion classic, Gloria, as a member of the band Them. George Ivan Morrison, more commonly known as Van Morrison, left the group Them and went on to become one of the most prolific singer-songwriters the world has ever seen. he's showing no sign of slowing down. <laughs> Number 8, David Bowie. Pushing through the market square So many mothers crying like any enduring rock star, this poetic performer has continuously reinvented himself over the decades, and his musical emergence can be directly connected to a true space oddity. In the summer of 1969, the first humans reached the moon, and just a few days before, the career of David Bowie was launched with his composition entitled Space Oddity. This is ground control to Major Tom. With the dawn of a new decade, Ziggy Stardust was introduced to the world, and the singer wrote a collection of songs that would not only inspire future musicians, but also offer a new approach to the art of songwriting. Number 7, Elvis Costello. After taking on a moniker in honor of Elvis Presley and his own father, Declan Patrick McNamus became a leading figure of the 70s British New Wave through an eclectic sound and intellectual wordplay. His first few albums are filled with pub rock classics and highly regarded for their lyrical depth, as Costello took a layered approach to an evolving genre known for repetitive phrases. The average music fan may not be able to name five Elvis Costello songs off the top of their head, but it's the vast discography that makes him so important within the spectrum of rock music.
Number six, Joni Mitchell. Put up a parking lot. She'll stimulate your brain with lyrics about social change and pierce your heart with poetic musings on love. This Canadian arrived on the scene at a crucial moment in music history when young people were coming to grips with the realities of war while reflecting on the natural beauty of life. I came upon a child of God. He was walking along the road. As a result, Joni Mitchell served as the soundtrack for millions with her poignant lyrics and equally remarkable voice. Songs like Big Yellow Taxi and Woodstock spoke to a generation along with her acclaimed 1971 album, Blue. Everybody's saying that hell's the hippest way to go. Well, I don't think so. Joni gives us everything we want out of folk music, and her vocal tone is a fascinating instrument in itself. Don't it always seem to go? You don't know what you got till it's gone. They pay paradise, put up a parking lot. Number five, Bruce Springsteen. Hey, little girl, is your daddy home? Did he go and leave you all alone? He's the blue collar boss of rich American music. With numerous album titles referencing geographical locations and evocative imagery, Bruce Springsteen penned most of his classics based on his experiences of hustling for the American dream. What else can we do now? Except roll down the window. 1975 album, Born to Run, included the self-written smash Thunder Road, and his 1984 album, Born in the USA, is undoubtedly essential to any rock fan. More importantly, however, is that Springsteen's lyrics convey a grittiness that can only be felt by anyone working hard for their money. Down here it's just winners and losers and don't get caught on the wrong side of that line Well, I'm tired of coming out on this losing end Number 4, John Lennon Imagine there's no heaven Speaking of working class heroes, this rock legend played thousands of shows with his Liverpool bandmates before they invaded America. And his first solo album touched on the artist's personal state of mind at that point in his career. A working class hero is something to be. John Lennon co wrote the majority of Beatles classics with Paul McCartney, however, had a number of solo writing credits, including Across the Universe and Dear Prudence and had a successful solo career until his unfortunate death in 1980. Although Lennon wouldn't live beyond the age of 40, his short career cemented his place in history as both a pop culture icon and one of rock's most influential voices. I hope someday Number three, Paul Simon. Well, I'm a oh, maybe I'm a dog lost this New Jersey native was once honored by Time Magazine as one of the 100 people who shaped the world. And it wasn't because of his unbelievable style. And touch the sound of silence. With a knack for the folk and world beat music, Paul Simon first conquered the charts with bandmate Art Garfunkel and produced classics like The Sound of Silence and Mrs. Robinson. And here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Jesus loves you more than you will know. Although Simon and Garfunkel would split by 1970, the former embarked on a solo career that would rattle listeners to the core with his soul piercing lyrics. Decades later, we're still crazy about Mr. Simon. Number two, Paul McCartney. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. Some artists fade into obscurity when their rock star days are over, and some continue to create. Day after day, year after year, and decade after decade. 
Paul McCartney forever changed music through his collaborations with bandmate John Lennon. However, his insatiable love for music resulted in eight albums with Wings and a long career as a solo artist. He wrote the masterpiece that is Hey Jude for the Beatles in the late 60s and composed Freedom over 30 years later in response to the September 11th attacks. In one way or another, the words of Paul McCartney have touched all of our lives, and there's not another singer-songwriter that has reached all corners of the earth like Sir Paul. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. When will you realize piano waits for you? Number one, Bob Dylan. Once upon a time, you dressed so fine, through the bumps of dime in your prime. Then you. Born and raised in Minnesota, Robert Zimmerman, aka Bob Dylan, walked to the beat of his own drum in the early 60s, even if his vocal style or deeply insightful lyrics weren't necessarily everyone's cup of tea. John is in a basement, mixing up the medicine. I'm on a pavement, thinking about the government. But much to his surprise, Dylan became the unwilling spokesperson for a generation upon his arrival in New York City and proceeded to abandon his acoustic sound for electric riffs while continuously reworking his sound from album to album. All the faces we used to know, they're an illusion to me now. Some are mathematicians, some are truck drivers wives. Always the innovator, Dylan remains one of the most prolific performers of modern times and certainly the most culturally significant songwriter of American history. How many times must a man look up before he can really see the sky? So, do you agree with our selections? Who is your favorite classic singer-songwriter? For more mind-blowing top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.